Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm wearing a very spotty shirt because we are going to be doing a hair video. So if you've been watching me for a while, you would know, or if you're one of my friends, you would know that I have dyed my hair pink before and I love my hair pink. So I'm going to basically show you guys how I do that on my own. I have gotten it like professionally done, but this is the product that she used for my hair when I got it done. So I'm just going to show you guys how I do it here in my house. So if you want to learn how I get my pink hair, then please keep watching. Alrighty. So I have two products here, which these are going to be the two products that I'm going to be using. So this is the Viral Celeb Luxury Light Pink Color wash thing so basically what this is is a color depositing shampoo so it's not necessarily hair dye I don't think the bonds in this are as strong um, what this is kind of made for is either to dye your hair completely like how I'm gonna do it or if you have pink dyed hair like in the salon and you want to keep it up and you want to keep it for a long time then you would use this in the shower when you wash your hair and it deposits a small amount of color every single time but the way that I do it is leaving it on as a mask and then it kind of just like absorbs into your hair and then you have pink hair and then I have the blue one and now this is because I have you guys can see in my hair right now especially I have very like this piece right here super like brassy and that's because I used a different pink hair dye on my own one time and it was a big accident and that caused the lifting of like it just it was wrong my hair is a little like I need to it's a little messed up in certain places but I'm gonna show you guys why I use the blue to kind of tone down that orange so when I put the pink it's not too warm if that makes any sense so it's kind of creating like a purple color but I want it more on the pink side you guys will see what I mean when I start doing it so I'm just going to use two spoons and two cups because what I want to do is since the bottoms are a lot lighter I'm going to use just the pink and maybe we'll just splash the blue on the bottoms and then for this middle section that needs to get toned a little bit more, I'm going to add more blue and it's going to be more of a purplish pink. And then I'll have kind of like a really nice color that will fade over time into a really pretty like pink, pastel pink. So the first thing to do is wear a shirt that you don't care about getting dirty because it's about to get dirty. And next I'm going to go ahead and wet my whole hair and I will be back. So real quick, I just want to talk to you guys why I'm using these products over like stuff like overtone and stuff like that. These products do not stain your hair. So as I just kind of said, I used a different pink hair dye that kind of messed up my hair. So now every time I lift it, it's going to have like a pinkish reddish undertone, which is not cute because that's why people have brassy hair. So you want to make sure that you get a product like this that will not stain your hair. I've accidentally dyed my hair blue completely. Like, I was trying not to get it super blue. I was just leaving it on for a little. But it went full on blue, but I was able to get it out completely and no staining of the hair. So products that are a little bit lighter like this will really help if you do want to get back to your blonde hair. Next thing I want to mention. Blue will catch on to your hair more than pink will. I believe the molecules in the color blue are just smaller than in like warmer tones. So I don't know. Just know that like the blue, if you put this on your hair, your hair will become blue. If you put this on your hair for a little bit, it might not take. So I don't know what it has to do, but just know that the color blue catches on more than pink. So that's why I'm going to measure these out for you guys and show you guys exactly how I do my pink. So. I'm going to go ahead and take this pink shampoo and I'm going to pour it in. And again, we're using this as a hair mask. So I think that this is pretty good. 
and then I'm going to add more in this one. Okay, this one has more. So I'll just show you that right now. That is how it's looking. And now you might be thinking that's a lot of product. Yeah, but I mean it's worth it. And I'm going to add just two drops, three of the blue in this one. So this is going to be the, for the top part of my hair. I'm going to add just one and like a little, a little bit in that one. And again, this is so it's not too orangey of a pink or warm tone. So now I'm going to mix it. So this is the first color that we got. Now you see how that blue kind of really took over? That's kind of, I guess, what it does to your hair too. So this is going to be for the top and the mid section of my hair. And then this one that I'm about to mix is going to be for the bottoms. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and move on to the dyeing process. Alright, so I'm up a little closer now. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to add that darker one. And I'm going to just take it with my fingers. I need a mirror. So with that darker one, I'm going to take it and add it to the roots of these front lightened pieces. And then down to like about here, all over the rest of my hair. And I'm just going to kind of put it on with a spoon. <laughs> and then I'll rub it in with my hands. This doesn't stain your hands. The blue will stain your hands slightly, but not as much as like other hair dyes would. So you don't have to worry so much about that. And then with my fingers, just so it's more precise, I'm gonna go ahead and take that on the root of the front of my hair. And also, these products do not have any peroxide or any lifting agents, so your hair will not, will not be um, lightened in any way in this area as well. And again, it's a shampoo, so you can kind of hear that. It's foaming up. And the blue one is a conditioner. I bought these off of Amazon. Um, they are quite expensive compared to other hair products, so I would understand why someone would want to go with Overtone over this, but I highly recommend this one. And now I'm going to go ahead and go in with that lighter pink right here. It's still kind of a deep purpley pink, and I'm going to put that into my hand like this. And I'm going to go ahead and apply it to the length of my hair. So you can kind of see that's kind of the color I was going for. A more cool tone pink. And because it's shampoo, again, it's going to foam up. But you want to make sure that you're getting every strand of hair. And if you really wanted to, you can go ahead and apply like conditioner into this. I might put some conditioner on after just so it's kind of more of a hair mask. And now I'm just going to take everything and kind of just blend it together. Now I'm done with that side. Now I'm going to go move on to this side. See, so this is the pink that it's coming out to, which is gorgeous. I love it. I'm going to go ahead and apply it, apply it to these front pieces. I feel like in this lighting right here, you can't really tell how pink it is. Um, but it's pink. You don't want to really miss any of the hair. And you do want to do this on wet hair. I've tried doing this on dry hair before, and I end up missing like half of my hair. So, just do it on wet hair always. So that you know that you're getting everything. And you see, it's just kind of like shampoo, so the staining on your hands isn't really a thing okay so now my hair is all lathered up i think i'm gonna take whatever's left over because i still have some i'm gonna add some conditioner to it and a little bit of a hair mask and then i'm gonna apply that to my hair while this is kind of like soaking in so you can kind of see i think i should add some more 
right here in this area. Alrighty, so I'm just gonna go ahead and add some of this hair mask. This is the Pineapple Hydration Curl Nourishing Hair Mask. Kind of the only one I have right now. I probably need to get more hair masks because I also need shampoo. I don't even think I have shampoo. So you guys can kind of see it's in there. This looks like a gross mess, but it'll be fine because whatever is in my hair right now is already starting to kind of like, I don't want to use the word process. Because technically it's not processing in hair terms. Maybe it is. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, my nephew is calling my dog. But you see, this is kind of the pink color that we're going for. You can kind of see once it's against that white that it's a, definitely a cool toned pink rather than like a, a warm tone. This is like almost a light magenta. That's how I would describe this color. And now I'm going to leave this on for about an hour. That's a lot more than it says. It says usually like 30, 20, 30 minutes. But I'm going to leave it on for an hour because first of all, my hair needs this hair mask. It's been like a long time since I actually used a hair mask. My hair is dry. And also, I really want that pink to take because I don't want to redo this for a while. <laughs> So I will see you guys tomorrow probably so I can just let my hair air dry tonight and that's it and the sun is already about to go down so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Are you guys ready to see my hair? It is officially the next day I just let my hair air dry and now it's all dry. So here it is. So this, um, I just threw my hair. Um, here is the hair. It has like more rose gold pieces. It has like very purpley pinky pieces. All throughout here. Up on the side. So that is my hair. So obviously this product will work on hair that's already bleached in some type of way or lightened. If not, it'll just kind of, um, it, it won't do anything because I put it all over and see how like the dark parts of my hair are still very dark. You know, you don't see any pink. I'm pretty sure that there is pink on it. It just won't show up because my hair is so dark underneath. So you will need lighter hair to do this, whether it's bleached or you just naturally have blonde hair. But I highly recommend this product and it will slowly but surely wash out. I usually like when it's like already kind of faded and you guys will see that if you subscribe to my channel and continue watching all my videos to come you'll see how it kind of fades out and it looks really really pretty. So if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so that you can see what other fun videos I have in store for you all and yeah thank you so much for watching I'll see you guys on Sunday.